I was thinking of how my writing process has evolved and changed over the years, so I thought I would share it. As I've talked about before, I was very undisciplined with it for a very long time. I would write when I sort of just had it, when I was feeling it. I felt that inspiration and creativity where it just hit me. It would happen at the most random times too. I'd be like cleaning my house, putting Windex on my bathroom mirror and stop what I was doing to go write, things like that. Obviously that was very inconsistent. I think there is this misperception among certainly artists, creative, fields, but I think really just anything, athletics for sure, where anybody who's found success, they just have it all the time, that they're superhuman, that every day they wake up and they're just blessed by the divine with this talent and it's never difficult for them. But I've been able to hear a lot of people who are the best in the world or in that class at what they do talk about it for free on YouTube. I'm not special having seen these bits of information by the way, but they've all said that that is not the case for them. And it requires discipline just like everything else. I think that any idea otherwise, it might have started in part from people who call themselves creative writers. And I know firsthand that there's a lot of fear from holding a lot of them back from putting themselves out there, especially people who their whole identity is wrapped up in it, where if you ask them what they, who they are, what they do, they would say, oh, I'm a writer. I was this person. And it's a lot easier to believe that you can't do it because you just didn't have it that day. Inspiration and creativity didn't hit you and it's really not under your control. And maybe for the luckiest person in the world, that's the case, but you know what, if that isn't it for Stephen King and Jody Picoult, then I think it's also okay with me that that's not the case for myself as well. And I never want to share what works for me from a place of having it all together or knowing more than anybody else. I absolutely do not. I can only share what did and didn't work for me. And I know that when I tried only doing it when I felt like it, I stumbled around for over seven years with one novel. And by the time I got disciplined with it, once I changed my practice and I wrote a thousand words a day, no matter what, I finished that same novel in less than a year. So don't do what I did and hold yourself back for years. What I do now is I wake up early and I the first thing I do during the day is I write anywhere from 500 to 2000 words a day. It's the most important thing to me, so it's my top priority. And some days it's easier than others. There are days that I'll wake up, I'll do 2,000 words in an hour and a half, no problem. There are other days, and it feels effortless. There are other days that I'm lucky to get 500 words in that exact same amount of time, and it feels like pulling teeth. But as long as I do something, I'm happy, and it sets the tone for the rest of the day. I don't do this every single day, but I try to do it at least five days a week, and I found that it all adds up pretty quickly. I spent the last two years working on a project that I ultimately decided to scrap, and as it is, although I could use a different iteration of it at some point, but that was really valuable to me, even though I'm not gonna move forward with it, because that's how I established that practice, and I knew that I could do it. So I'm working on right now what will be my second novel and my target date to finish it is February of 2024. That feels attainable to me just given the routine that I've outlined. And I can hear it now, like, tell me you don't have kids without telling me. And you're right, I don't have kids. But I know, because she told me, that when Jodi Picoult was writing The Pact and just churning out all those novels you've seen if you've ever been to an airport in America, that she was raising three kids who were pretty young at the same time that she was doing all of those things. So it is possible. And I know that I'd be pretty crushed if either of my parents ever blamed my siblings or I for being the reason that they didn't go after something. This practice is what's turned me from somebody who, again, my identity was absolutely wrapped up in being a writer, but in reality, I was kind of like a hobbyist with it to now I would consider myself a professional. And as always, we're always evolving and changing, so I'm only sharing what works for me now. It's very possible that in the future, 
this can somehow no longer work for me. So I'm not talking in absolutes. I just want to share what didn't work for me and what has worked for me over the past several years in case it helps someone else.